Wednesday the 28th, February 12:38 p.m. Oh, temperature's really dropping here, boys and girls. You know that Georgia train wreck. You know there's three attorneys that needs to be prosecuted and disbarred for perjury. I wish I could have been the lawyer in that trial hearing yesterday, that hearing. I wish I would have been a lawyer. I wish I could have been one of the defendant's lawyers. Could have asked Mr. Bradley some questions. You know what I would have asked him when he started that shit about that speculating? Here's what I would have asked him. He made reference in his first time at that hearing, you know, he was claiming attorney-client privilege. And he even said he had spoke to somebody at the Georgia bar. Well, they should have asked him who he talked to. Since he introduced that fact and said that, they should have asked him, who did you talk to? All right. Yesterday, if they would have done that, yesterday what I would have Asked Mr. Bradley, I said, oh, okay, so you're, you were speculating. You're a licensed attorney in the state of Georgia answering another lawyer who's licensed in the state of Georgia on an official legal matter. And your response to her question was speculation at the time you said it. Well, when did you figure out it was speculation exactly, Mr. Bradley? When? So it was speculation when you said it? Or is it speculation today? And the next question would have been, well, Mr. Bradley, if it was speculation when you said it, why did you have to claim attorney-client privilege? Speculation is not covered under attorney-client privilege because that's a damn fairy tale. So, I would have probably asked him yesterday if I'd have been an attorney. Oh, you, you made reference when you were in this here before. You spoke with somebody at the Georgia Bar about a current uh, your situation, an attorney, client. Uh, who did you talk to, please? I would have got them in there. I'd have brought them in that hearing. And I would have asked Mr. Bradley, when you talked to this person, <clears throat> did you use the term speculation? When you talk to the person from the Georgia bar, and I'd have got the person in there and I would have asked them that very same question. Did Mr. Bradley ever use the term speculation? That he had been speculating, using speculation in describing things involving Mr. Wade, who was his client, yes or no? Any lawyer guilty of doing what this guy did should be disbarred. You can't have this guy out practicing law in your state or anywhere else in this country. That's the sorriest, silliest thing I've ever heard. He deserves to be disbarred. He's, remember, he should be held to a higher standard. He's not a regular citizen. He has a jurisprudence degree, and he's a licensed lawyer to practice in the state. So he knows exactly what he's doing in a legal proceeding. You know, another licensed attorney asks you something. He didn't say he didn't know. If he didn't know, he should have said he didn't know. This judge, if he doesn't disqualify this Wade and Willis off this case, boys, I don't know what's going to happen because this is this is rotten, okay? There is definitely some conflict of interest, prejudice, whatever you want to call it in this case because it don't seem like Wade and Willis and this Mr. Bradley, they can't answer simple questions with simple answers. And you know what that usually means, right? And oh, by the way, you know, don't you find this sort of amazing? If somebody accused me, if I would have been in this D.A. Willis's position, somebody would have accused me of what she was, you know, accused of, I would have been volunteering my damn phone records in a New York second. 
And what would the phone records have probably showed if she was telling the truth? Their communications would have started intensifying, growing in number after the date she, she submitted as when their personal relationship romantic started. Correct? 2021, you wouldn't have 10,000 or 12, whatever it is, exchanges of communication at all hours of the day, especially late at night. So that's what I would have done. And if I would have been Mr. Wade, I would have done the same thing. Here's the phone records, boys. Me and Miss Willis, we didn't talk. We hardly ever talked on the phone and text. And what time I did text with her was all during the day. Regular, you know, normal behavior. Nothing romantic. Yeah, they got to get rid of them, okay? That Fulton County down there, boys, that courthouse got some real, that, that DA's office, that's, that's, that's awful. The citizens of Fulton County, the citizens of Georgia deserve better. And those defendants in this case, they deserve better too. They deserve better. Surely we can find a less corrupt DA somewhere that will at least look at the case and proceed with it or dismiss it or whatever. But but look, remember, Wade and Willis were involved with this case. We don't see what they're capable of in this courtroom. So putting this case together, has it all been on the up and up? Looks a little shady. No, they're shady characters. So they were shady characters probably, you know, putting this case together, huh? What did they tell this grand jury, by the way? I mean, I don't even know how that is. Is that tracked? You know, there's no, you know, when you're doing a grand jury, you know, there's no defense. This is all the prosecution's doings. So we don't know what went down, but this looks shady, okay? Shady in Atlanta.